What is going on guys? Killer Penguins here, and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking the control panel bar for the At Games Legends Pinball, and we are going to be vinyl wrapping the entire thing right after this. Since we've gone ahead and we've relocated our HDMI, USB ports, our channel, and our volume buttons, this is what we're going to be left with on the top. And even though that's all going to be gone, it still looks ugly having these holes here, having the text up at the top. So our goal in this is going to go ahead and vinyl wrap this whole entire thing to just eliminate these holes, eliminate the text and the images, and just to make it look seamless and clean at the top. So I want to go ahead, make a short tutorial on the vinyl that I'm choosing, on how to do it for those who are getting into vinyl wrapping, who are new into it, and just some different choices and different tools and techniques to use for doing that. So here we have our bar. Here's a couple of the tools that I have. I just have a, a roller here to help roll the vinyl out, get the buttons, not required, but it's nice to have. I have this little piece of plastic here to push the vinyl out, pull the vinyl, get it flat and flush. You can use anything such as a credit card or anything else that you have um, on hand. But I have this, so I'm going to use one of these. We have an X-Acto knife, and this is going to be used to cut away any excess vinyl that's left over after we're doing that. And this is the vinyl I'm using. It's Scissor, there's Cricut, um, a few other ones. Um, I've gone ahead and I'm using the chalkboard kind, and it is removable, but I don't have an issue with that. You know, we could go with permanent. The reason why I'm going with chalkboard, and they only make it in removable, but the reasoning for the chalkboard is if you get a real good look at this, it might be kind of hard to see, but I took my panel into Michael's and I looked it up next to the mat and I looked it up next to the chalkboard and this chalkboard is pretty close even the feel and the texture and the look to the actual panel itself and that's why I went with this and so I've already gone ahead and I did already test everything out here is one that I already did I just ripped it off and that's the other thing you know if you mess up with it being removable you can just take it right off and just to get an idea of the size that we're going to need. And you're going to want to do a little bit wider and bigger. But, of course, the length is going to be the length of the actual panel. And I have a ruler here. We're going to do inches. And so the length of the full entire panel is 16 and 3 eighths inch. And so in the end, that's how long we're going to have. We're going to want a little slightly longer. I'd rather have a little extra and cut it off than not enough. And the width that we're going to end up with in the end is going to be 2 and 7 eighths inch. And so how this is going to get wrapped, you can obviously just wrap it here, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start the vinyl up in here. It's going to come across here, and we're actually going to wrap it under to this bar here. So again, the vinyl is going to start here. It's going to come down in front. It's going to come all the way up into there. All right. And so I'll have all these items in the description down below. So if you're interested, you want the same vinyl, you can get a Michaels on Amazon. Um, I'll have all these tools in the description below as well. So if you guys want that, all right. I do already have my piece of vinyl already cut. Again, it's going to be a slightly a tad bit longer than the bar, as you can see right there. It's slightly longer than the bar, and obviously it's a heck of a lot <laughs> longer than what we need, but that's okay, we can easily cut that. I'd rather, again, have more than not enough. This was left over from another thing I had cut earlier. All right, so let's go ahead, we'll get this out of the way. sides. I have a little cutting board here 
These are nice, they're self-healing. Little cutting mat, so you can cut into it. Those are always good to have. All right, so a lot of people do vinyl, you know, a little differently. What I'm actually gonna end up doing is most likely just peeling this whole entire piece off and then just going with it. Other people, they kind of do little slits and then, you know, peel off a little bit at a time. Some people do like in the middle and then peel half off. So it's really up to you how you want to do it, what you want to do, how you want to handle it. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and peel off. The entire thing. And when your vinyl comes, it does come rolled up like this. And so what you can do is once you get what you want cut, it's going to be, you know, rolling up like this. You can take it, put it flat, put some, you know, upside down, right side up, whatever. You can put some heavy books on it, let it sit for a little bit. You can roll it the other way, get it really tight together. And then you can go ahead and in the tube here, you can set it inside here, let it go up. And then, you know, after maybe 15, 20 minutes, you can pull it out and it should pretty much kind of lay flat for you. It doesn't take that much time to do that. All right, so we got that. We can throw that back in the way. And so we're gonna start up in this side here. All right, so we're gonna take our vinyl Pretty much lined up and there we want it. All right. All right. So that's looking pretty good right there. And so we can take our piece. There, get that, come down here, just kind of push it against. This helps get in the crevice right there. I, I really love this tool. It has that sharp point right there. It's big, it's bigger than a credit card. You can really get a good grip on it. You know, you just want to get that pinned up against in there. Bring it out, helps get the bubbles out. Again, the great part with it being removable, is it's easy to pull it up. And if you make any mistakes, you can easily just pull it up. So it's starting to come up a little bit there. So just pull it up a little bit right there. All right, pull it tight against right there. And like that. Alright, and I just like to see the little roller. This really helps push it down. Alright, All right. we do got a little air bubble right there. So we can, you know, work it out. Another little air bubble right here. Work it towards the edge, get the air out. All right, there it comes. All right, look at that, looking good. All right, get this other one towards. And if you really want to, just a little tip, if you do get a little tiny air bubble that's just not wanting to come out and you happen to have permanent, you can't get it off, you can take your X-Acto knife, you can do a little tiny prick where the hole's at, and then that'll get the air bubble out. And you won't even tell that you put a little prick into it. But that's a real 
quick and easy way that you can get those air bubbles out if they're not pushing towards the edge, if it's permanent, if it's already stuck down, just put a little hole in it and then push the air out and you won't even tell that the little hole was there. All right, so we got that part done. Let's move our tool to the side. All right, we're gonna lay this down here. Like that. All right, so actually I'm probably gonna do this. Yeah, we're gonna do it this way. So we're gonna, I'm gonna hold it down here and we're gonna pull it this way as I'm taking this part here and pulling down this way, all right? So, and I'm gonna stretch here so we're not bunched up in the middle, but we're kind of out to the side here. And I'm just gonna pull in both directions, lay it flat like that, press down. We can go ahead and flip it over. Look at that. All right, so we can go ahead and just work it. Push any air bubble out. We have a little air bubble here, you can see but that's an easy workout we're at the edge. All right, and I kind of come in and go down like this and we're pushing the air bubbles towards the bottom here and out to the side. All right, we're gonna come down like that. All right, get a little air bubble down here. But again, that's towards the edge there. It's gonna be easy to push out. There it is, that's out. All right. All right, so we can take our roller here, and really push it down, lay it flat here. Really get it, make sure it's there, all right. Again, you would not be able to do that easy if it was permanent. All right, and now for the last bit, we're gonna take it, and you can see I have the little bit of vinyl there sticking out, a little bit on the side here sticking out. So that's good, we want that. And a lot of people are worried because you have the holes here. And a lot of times with vinyl, if you have holes there, the vinyl actually will go down inside, but as you can see, you can't even see that the holes are there. So I had some people commenting earlier when I had mentioned I'm going to vinyl wrap this that they would recommend filling in something in here, maybe putting a you know piece of small piece of cardboard or something in there just to you know make it harder. But in all reality, you don't need that. Look how clean that is. Look how clean that is. Over here, you can kind of see the bump right there. We can easily, you know, just push it up like that a little bit. And, yeah. All right. So now what we're going to do, we have it flipped over. We're going to take this and use our table to our advantage and pull, grab right here, pull it down towards us as we push the bar down and roll it up like this. All right, so we're gonna like this, we're gonna roll it up like that. Okay, get that creased on the side like that. All right, and then flip this over, grab our tool. All right. And just kind of work a little bit down the side. All right, like that. Come to this side. Like that. All right, and then I didn't push it all the way towards the middle. I didn't push it all the way in yet. I just did a little bit and then came down the sides. That way, again, having less of a chance of air bubbles getting caught. But again, because it's removable, we can easily pull it up and then restick it if we have to. And then we're gonna take this and we're just going to push it all the way into that corner there. Just go down. And it has the little 
edge right here so we can easily just kind of work it again keeping the least amount of chance of air bubbles getting in there it's looking real nice looking real good all right there we go all right and that's good we can just take this and run it down all right come down this side run it down now we have this nice sharp edge in here and I'm just taking this and putting it in the corner and running it down really creasing it in there and now all we're gonna have to do for this part is we can take our exacto knife go to the corner right where it's at just cut it down I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit like this. There we go. Get down the corner down there. Sometimes the blade does start coming up a little bit, so just however you feel comfortable cutting it. There we go, I like that better. Alright, I'm just going to do one more cut down. It's just the tip of the blade down there. using the tip of the blade right down there and we should be good now all right so peel that up Alright, so we got our access there. Don't need that anymore. You can hold on to that if you wanted to. I just folded it over. I'm not going to use it, but if you just wanted to hold on to it, use it for anything else. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the vinyl is fully pressed back there. Sometimes when you cut it, it could lift a little bit. So I'm just going back to it, making sure it's there. All right, that's good. And then we have the excess vinyl on the sides. And we just want to cut that away also. And what you want to do is when you're cutting this, you want to be careful that when you're cutting it, you don't want to cut this way from the top here because that's going to peel the vinyl up. So you want to come down this way to it and then you want to come around here. If you start cutting here, you could start peeling up the corner of the vinyl. So just want to go ahead and cut the access vinyl off. And so we're just going to jump in. We're going to cut this out real quick and get this cleaned up and finished. As we're getting this last little bit off here, it wants to be a little stubborn piece, but we'll get it. Just take your time with cutting it, getting it flush to the metal. So, having a little trouble getting at that corner there. So, I'm going to come here and again, be careful you don't want to cut yourself. There we go. 
and it does really help if you're using a fresh blade that's sharp. But there we are. All right. So edges are cut. I'm just gonna come down. Make sure that's good. There we go. That's all nice and clean. And there we are, guys. There's our control panel bar. Freshly vinyled. No more holes. No more text. No more images. Before we do install this back on the ALP for the final look, I did want to throw it out there that some of you may have been like, KP, I've been thinking about where I have relocated my HDMI and USB ports, but I'm not relocating my volume buttons. I'm leaving them there. What the heck am I supposed to do? Easy. You can easily cut it out. Cut out the holes for the volume buttons. Cut those out there. Put your volume buttons back in. If you do still want the text there, you can do you know, your vinyl up to here. You can do your vinyl around that. Easy enough to get the words to show through if you want them. But again, if you're going to put the buttons back here, you can easily just cut those out. So I just want to throw that out there for any of you who have been thinking or wondering on the best way to go about doing that. All right, so let's go take this beautiful, beautiful looking piece that's all vinyl cover now, and let's go install this on the ALP for the final reveal. And here it is, guys, the final look of how the ALP should have looked from the very beginning. No holes, no ports, no text, no images, all gone, all eliminated, looking so clean. Let's just take a second to admire how clean and how beautiful it looks with that panel matching the side rail, the textured look, the colored, all thanks to that chalkboard vinyl we added to the panel. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. If you think it looks as good as I do, if you're like, no, it looks dumb, you should have left it, why'd you even do it? Let me know down below also, or if you even plan on doing something along the lines of this, go ahead, let me know down below. I love reading your guys' comments on what your thoughts are and what you plan on doing with the LP. If this video helped, or if you just want to say, great job, KP, I'm happy you did that, it looks so good. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more ALP related content, more pinball stuff, mods, whatever, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're going to be bringing you guys more videos and more content. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and happy modding.